Seeing the goodness in others is a beautiful human virtue. It helps build relationships. It helps build connections with one another. Yet, at times, our pride, our ego, can get in the way, closing our hearts to see what others can offer us. So, we need humility and the willingness to see the goodness in others, the key to recognizing and seeing and accepting goodness in others is humility. Jesus teaches a valuable life lesson today in our gospel. The large crowd was following Jesus and he sees that people and he climbs the mountain with his disciples. And from there, he sees the people and feels for them. Jesus' heart is filled with mercy and goodness. And he tells Philip, what can we give these people to eat? This is to test Philip. He wants to see whether if Philip can offer something. But Philip fails the test. And he says, we don't have enough money. And there's another disciple, Andrew. He finds a boy and he comes with this boy because this boy is willing to give whatever he has, his own five barley loaves and two fish. But what was the Andrew's response? What is that good for 5,000 people? You see the clear contrast between the disciple's attitude and the boy's disposition. The boy recognizes his own goodness. He recognizes Jesus' own goodness, but disciples fail to see that. And we have here Jesus who sees the generous heart of this boy and he picks up five barley loaves and two fish, and he lifts them up and multiplies the bread and fish. And gospel tells us everyone had more than enough with 12 baskets left over. Dear friends, what was lacking in disciples' response to Jesus? Jesus they, are, they lacked in their acceptance of goodness of the Lord and they fail to see the goodness of the boy. Sometimes we become like disciples. We fail to see the goodness in others. Filled with pride and ego, full of ourselves, we are not able to truly see the goodness in those who are around us. Let us begin from ourselves. Do we recognize the goodness within ourselves? Do you really truly believe that God has given you so many gifts? Are you aware of that? And how possibly can we share that goodness around us if we are not aware of our own goodness? So the first step is to have that awareness and that acceptance of our own goods. When we are truly aware of our own goodness, our hearts are open to see the goodness of those who are around us. Now, when we go to our families, do we see the goodness in our families between husband and wife, between parents and children? And today, in a special way, we celebrate the World Day for the grandparents and the elderly. And the grandparents and the elderly can offer so much wisdom. But do we really see that goodness? Can we recognize this goodness? Sometimes we may say that is outdated. Ultimately, do we see the goodness of the Lord? God has created each one of us here with goodness. Remember in the account of Genesis, 
When God created, he saw it was good. The goodness is all around us. But the question is, do we see that? When we truly can recognize the goodness within ourselves and with those who are around us, and when we truly can see the goodness of the Lord, the miracles will happen and the world will be a better place because you, we are able to see the goodness of the Lord with humility. So Jesus invites you and me to reflect deeply in our hearts the goodness around us. Are we able to see that? Do we have humility to see the goodness around us?